In this video, we will look at how to set up a database activity in Moodle 2.0. Firstly, in your course, make sure you have turned editing on, either by clicking the button in the top right, or by clicking Turn Editing On in the Settings block under Course Administration. Under the Add an Activity drop-down menu, in one of the topic boxes down the middle, choose Database. Give your database a name. Add a brief description for your database. If the database is restricted to be available or viewable only between certain dates, you can specify these here. Otherwise, just leave all these settings disabled. Required entries is the number of entries a student is required to submit before the activity can be considered complete. Entries required before viewing is the number of entries a student is required to submit before they can view entries from other students. Note, if entries are required before viewing, the database auto-linking filter should be disabled. This is because the database auto-linking filter can't determine whether a user has submitted the required number of entries. This controls the maximum number of entries a student is allowed to submit for this activity. This setting allows or disallows commenting on entries. If enabled, all participants can attach comments to entries in the database. If this is enabled, entries require approval by a teacher before they are viewable by everyone. RSS Articles determines whether the database can be used as an RSS feed, and if so, how many items are current. You can allow ratings on entries. Choose the type of rating that is displayed, which scale applies, and whether ratings are restricted to a specific time period. In another section, once the database is created, you can set who exactly has the ability to rate entries, whether it is just the teachers or whether students can rate entries. Click on Save and Return to Course. The shell of your database has now been set up. However, we have not set up any fields for the database yet. This is in the next video.